the Chicago Humanities Festival brings high, low culture together. It's all the things that we're already talking about in our offices, hanging out with our friends, on Facebook. It's just with a ton of people you might not otherwise meet. The Chicago Humanities Festival connects the great stories and ideas of our time with passionate audiences in Chicago. We bring artists, authors, poets, journalists, big thinkers. It is a festival of an inquiry into and celebration of books, literature, social science, the good stuff, which in my view doesn't get celebrated enough. It's basically a dissemination of the humanities to the public, and it's wonderful. Even at this moment when we have access to so much content from a swipe of a phone, people still want to come together and have a conversation face-to-face -face with real people, with one another. It's a really great experience. I had the good luck to be at the very first program 25 years ago, and that moment spoke to something that people wanted or even needed in their lives. The festival in its early years took on birth and death, love and marriage, uh, things that are crucial to our lives, but we don't walk around thinking about every day. With Juno Diaz last year, you really saw the full diversity of Chicago in a single room, hearing from one of the great authors of our time, having a deep conversation about what race means in America. I moderated a conversation about Mad Men. Here were almost 700 people excited to talk about a television program. Probably my favorite event with the festival was my interview with John Hodgman. Nate Silver, David Grossman, or Isabel Wilkerson. Temple Grandin. Sherman Alexi. August Wilson. Nancy Pelosi. Gary Steingart. Rick Bayless. By the end of the three-week period, you are really exhausted. But that's a wonderful exhaustion to encounter. Rich Frankie's vision was to really connect the cultural community, the arts community, the educational community of Chicago, bringing talks, conversations, performances, arts projects. It's really grown in a steady but natural way around its core mission of bringing human experience to as wide an audience as possible. In 1990, at the first festival, we had about a dozen programs. Now, 25 years later, we do over 150 different programs throughout the entire year. We've had something like 10 Nobel laureates, 70 Pulitzer Prize winners, over 50 MacArthur Fellows. We've got people who've won Grammys and Tonys and Academy Awards. Our hope is that you leave a Humanities Festival program seeing the world anew. I've been so glad to have the opportunity to meet other diverse young professionals who are also similarly interested in books, culture, and we're all eager to find out what new is out there. <laughs> One of the things that we do, which is really great, is Stages, Sights, and Sounds. It's this festival we put on every spring. It's Chicago's only international theater festival for children. 10,000 students every year can actually engage with working artists, doing performance, writing poetry, learning new ways to express themselves. It feels a lot different than, you know, reading a book or watching TV. After the performance is over, you get to give feedback on it. You get to actually, you know, have an effect on what the final product of the play is like. I feel like there's some really unique experiences that can come from the special type of plays and shows that you get. You need to sort of question your universe and your environment. How can we use storytelling to foster empathy for more people? What about the income gap today that's widening? How are we going to address the balance required between the hard sciences and the study of the humanities? What is the source of male pattern baldness? Uh, will there ever be a cure for it? How can we restore faith in key institutions that seem to have failed? I want to know what role Gary Steingart thinks vodka has played in the development of Russian literature. What does it mean to be part of a community, part of a city, part of a nation, part of a globe? Who are those thinkers, who are those artists that really will make you consider who you are in a new